Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to add a satin border around any shaped object that you have in Inkscape. So let's get to it. So in what circumstances would you be doing this for? Mainly for patches. Patches generally have a satin border around the edge that kind of cleans it up and makes it look like a, a patch, right? Mm -hmm. And when you're doing a circular patch or a square patch, those borders are really easy to add by just hitting shift and then the color that you want that border to be and then adjusting your, your stroke style tools. Uh, but for more complex shaped patches, it could be a little bit more complex in adding that border, but we'll show you how to do it real easily. Mm -hmm. Should we get to it? Let's get to it. All right, so like we said before, Adding a satin border around the edge of a simple circle design is really easy. So if we're going to make, you know, a red patch design and we didn't have a stroke, it would look like that, right? But if we wanted to add a satin border around the edge, all we would have to do is hit shift and then the color that we want. So if we wanted like a blue border, we would just hit shift. And then we can adjust how thick this is in our, in our fill and stroke. And if we go over to stroke style, we can adjust how thick it is here in the width real easily. But what about more complex shapes? If you were making, you know, a different shaped patch, like our So Crafty patch and our Hey Peeps patch mm -hmm. were more complex shapes. So there's a little bit more to it, but it, it is still pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this border here. Shift, next there. And let's say we have kind of weird shapes here. I'm just gonna do some weird shapes here in colors and that's okay. Just happy little shapes. And again, this, this is really just for illustration, but what if we wanted to add a satin border around this? Well, it's not so easy. You can't just hit a button shift and then add a satin border around all of it. However, what you can do is you can unify this, which will basically take all of the nodes around the outside perimeter and then delete everything on the inside. Now there is kind of a problem with this in that we, if we unify this, it's gonna turn all to one color and it's gonna get rid of all of these internal shapes. And if you're building a patch, a complex patch, you don't wanna get rid of all of those shapes. So what we're actually gonna do before we mess with any of that is we're gonna copy all of this. So we're going to hit Command D, which will put the new shapes directly on top of the old. So right now, if I move this, we would have two sets. See, just like that. So I'm going to hit Command Z to put it back. And now, while all of these are selected, all we have to do is go to Path and Union. And now you can see it's created just a red a, blob. <laughs> a blob, right? But that blob is just sitting on top of our original. So I'm going to put that back. And more importantly, if we go to the nodes tool here, you'll see that all of the internal nodes are deleted and all my nodes are on the outside. So this is one solid shape. Now that's good because now I can hit shift. And if I want a black border, add black. And then I can hit this X button with, without hitting shift and it'll get rid of the inside. And look at that. Now we have a nice satin border around the edge of our complex shape, as long as, or as well as the additional details on the inside. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So let's see how this would stitch out. So control P. Perfect. So thank you so much for the person who requested this video and I hope it can help you and others. Yeah, it's not as easy sometimes as if you were doing a simple, easy shape yeah. to add a border. And this uh, Unify tool in Inkscape is very helpful mm -hmm. in creating that outside border that you would want. So if you have any video ideas you'd like us to cover, make sure to leave them down below. And we'll do them when we can, or if we can. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.